All right, what am I doing out here tonight? There's a... Why is there a phone? Where does this phone even go? <laughs> this goes to the control room? I never even knew there was a phone here that goes to the control. Who's this? Hello? Is this... This is the director. I can talk to the director on this thing. I'm such an ass, I didn't even know there was a phone under here that went to the director of the show. It's red like it's really important. I love that. <laughs> Let's call the Kremlin. Don't worry, I've got a phone. <laughs> Can you talk to Putin? No, the director of Late Night. <laughs> I better hang it up. There's tissue under here? I never look under here. Why is there a blue bucket under here? <laughs> I've never looked, and honestly, I've been on the air almost 13 years. I've never looked under this desk. And look at it, it's the crappiest bucket. It's got like duct tape around the top. That bucket's all cracked. Should we get a new one for a dollar? No! <laughs> tape it up! It's just Conan. You're right. Tape, 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 tape. What is that? That's gross! bottom of this bucket. I'm not kidding. This is... This place sucks. <laughs> Finally, it's something I can use, huh? <laughs> Let's do something with that. I'm a big... Well, okay, not a big star, but I should... We should fix this. It's on my foot now, this bucket. <laughs> clean this up. We're going to clean it up. We're going to get this whole area cleaned up, and then the show's going to be better. <laughs> but let's do something fun. I'm going to do something. This is a lot of fun. Uh, you've seen this on talk shows a million times. It's kind of a staple in the late-night talk show world. Uh, it's something we call actual items, and here's how it works. Uh, you've seen uh, Leno does this a lot on his show. Hi, folks. How you doing? And this is how... <laughs> what it basically... It's the quickest impression in the world. I just... Uh, <laughs> That's the international symbol for Jay. Hey, how are you? <laughs> the, uh, here's how it works. Uh, you know, you, you go and we have an amazing research staff, and they look through magazines and newspapers and all kinds of things, and uh, they find ads, and there's something kind of wrong with the ads. We don't know if it's a typo. We don't know if it's sort of a... They, they misstated something. And the greatest part is that it's real. You can't make this stuff up. Why would you? That would waste everyone's time. It's real. It's a real slice of America. So let's take a look at some now. You'll see what I'm talking about. First one's an ad from the Salinas Sun in Salinas, California. And it's an ad for a camouflage all-terrain vehicle that costs around $2,500. Look at that, a camouflage all-terrain vehicle, $2,500. And everything in this ad looked normal, but look what it says right here. It says, a purchase your wife and children will refer to as the last straw. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Here's an ad. It's, you can't make these up. It's an ad from the Hinsdale Post in Hinsdale, Illinois. It's an ad for a weight loss pill that apparently, uh, it's a weight loss pill. You see a lot of these ads. And this one's endorsed by a doctor right there. Look what it says right here, though. It says, winner, least believable doctor award. <laughs> that's, that's true. Here we go. It's an ad from the Newburgh Dispatch in Newburgh, Indiana. It's an ad for Depends Undergarments right here. Depends Undergarments. Only $12.49 gets you a whole box. Everything looked normal. But look at this special offer up here. It says, free adult diaper joke book with every purchase. <laughs> it's just like that. Check this out. This has some. Uh, this is an ad for like these cool office supplies. It's an ad from the Gross Point Gazette in Gross Point, Michigan. All kinds of uh, office supplies, and it's mostly an ad for a paper shredder, like right there. Look at that paper shredder you can buy, 19.99. That's very reasonable for a paper shredder. But look what it says here. This is odd. It says, "Now your wife will never discover your 500-page love letter to David Hyde Pierce." <laughs> Seems strange. Wow. Now I know what that bucket's for. <laughs> Did all right. Here we go. Here's... <laughs> that was so the writer doesn't feel so bad. Uh, 
Here's one from the Martinsville Post in Martinsville, Indiana. It's an ad for a red fur coat. Red fur coat right there. And I guess it's an old holiday ad, red fur coat. Everything looked normal. But look what it says here. This isn't good. It says, we call this one raccoon bloodbath. <laughs> Next we have one from the Davenport Dispatch in Davenport, Iowa. It's an ad for fo... That's just sad. I hope to God you're from there. And not just... <laughs> you do that on a plane? We're passing now, Davenport, Iowa. Woo! The pilot... Next, we have one from the Davenport Dispatch in Davenport, Iowa. It's an ad for photo processing. Photo processing, $6.99, get all your photos processed. And they have a nice picture here. Everything looked normal of a kid having a good time. But look what it says next to the picture. It says, capture the last thing your son ever did to your mafia boyfriend. <laughs> That's... All right. Don't mess with that guy. This next ad is from the Palatine Sun in Palatine, Illinois. Now you're lying. Uh, <laughs> what's woo on the next one, no matter what he says? <laughs> next ad's from Baghdad. Woo! Um, <laughs> next ad's from the Palatine Sun in that place. It's an ad for string cheese. Yeah, 100% natural string cheese. Everything seemed normal with this ad, and they have a fun cartoon character here. But look what he's saying. He's saying right here, he's saying, parts of me will never leave your aorta. <laughs> That's not good. I'll kill you. <laughs> it's an ad from the Tempe Tribune in Tempe, Arizona. It's an ad for a department store uh, clothing. Clothing in a department store right there. And it uh, looks pretty nice, guy there. Little girl. Everything looked the same, normal. But look what it says next to this girl, though. It says, from our little butt scratchers line. <laughs> Here's one. Man, we're doing a lot of these. Next. <laughs> Man, Bethesda Beacon in Bethesda, Maryland. It's an ad for an electric stair lift that helps people get up and down the stairs. Those are very useful. Yeah, very useful. Look what it says right here, though. It says, the perfect way to bum out your daughter's prom date. I want to say hello. <laughs> My apologies to everyone who needs one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now I don't seem insensitive. Ding. <laughs> Finally, we have an ad from the P Pollard Post in Pollard, Ohio. It's an ad for bras. They have all kinds of bras here. Check them out, a 1724 posture. All these different bras, but then look at this one. Is that really <laughs> something that should be? Everybody, we got a uh, we got a fun program tonight. Stick around. When we come back. Big star Vin Diesel. It's on the show.